Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, eat your banana. Eat your banana. I have to like duck down for you guys to see me. What if I try and raise my... Is that any better? So today I have two Coney dogs. Yum. Whoa, I'm losing my onions. So I have two Coney dogs. I have some pickles. The kids are in there eating. And then they'll have naps. Ugh. Oh, this is all hot. <laughs> Don't fall off of the pistachios. All right, that's gonna make me nervous. It's gonna fall. I'll set you back down. Oh my gosh, it's already falling apart. Just fell out of the bun. What the heck? All right, this is gonna be messy. It just completely fell out of the bun. The bun split on the opposite side. Okay. What a mess. So it's the Oscar Mayer hot dogs. They're my favorite. We have this. Was it Castleberries? Oh my gosh. Easy with your banana, Jack. There cheese. And the onions. Oh my gosh. This little boy woke up at 5.30 this morning because his diaper leaked. I don't know what is going on lately. I've even went up a size in diapers thinking that was it. Dad. Dad. Hi. Dad. Are you vacuuming for me? No. You gonna vacuum? So I'm tired today. Ah! So by the time I change his diaper, got him in fresh jammies. He was wide awake and ready to go. What a mess. No, no, Jack. No. No, no, buddy. Oh my gosh. Eat your lunch, single night night. Jackson, where's the vacuum? Where is it? So, Brad wants the living room. There it is. Can you vacuum for me? And then. You want vacuum? Show me how you do it. Then he wanted muffins and his juice, like his normal morning breakfast, like it was. Oh, good job. See, mommy's tired. Well, then. And a little after seven, while I was getting the girls up, he lit on the living room floor and like tucked his arms underneath him. He lit on his belly, tucked his arms under him, and he was out. You okay? So we're like to sleep to like 7.45. It's like for a half hour, roughly. So they should be ready for naps. Here in just a minute. I also have these teeny tiny, what are they called? Ultra thin pretzel sticks. They're way skinnier than like regular little 
chocolate stick. To, to even taste them, you have to eat like 10 at a time. Did you vacuum for mom? Good boy. Allie in the car told me she wanted hot dogs, mac and cheese, and oranges. But I didn't have any mandarin oranges in the fridge. I only had little diced peaches, so they're, they settled for peaches. I finally slept, snapped last night on everyone. I'm just sick of the, the negativity. Everyone's always so negative and angry and miserable. And just the name calling and crying and just laziness disrespect i'm just sick of it to the point where because jay has been around a lot lately because he was on second shift and then he um well after he was on second shift for a couple weeks he was laid off last week and this week so he's been around like non-stop the past week which was handy with like appointments and stuff but other than that it's like I can't do it. It's back to the old. If he's here, he's either laying on the couch or in the recliner. I'm picking up his socks, his shoes. His food trash that's laying on the on the gray stand beside him or on even on the floor. It's like, I can't do it. I cannot do it. What, honey? We can't call Arden. I don't have her phone number. You ready for bed? Or do you need a few more minutes? Okay, a few more minutes. Take your shoes off, please. So if I told mom, you gotta go. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't. I'm like, you. It's just rubbing off on the kids. The name clan, the hatefulness, the. I'm constantly, I'm like, can you pick this up? Can you pick that up? Can you help me out here? Like, you're doing absolutely nothing. I'm trying to do laundry or fold laundry. Can you help out with the kids? Like, it's. Same old, same old. Like, if you're gonna be here, then you need to be active. <laughs> so, last night I made him leave. I'm like, I can't do it. It was one thing when he was working first shift and he'll be here, like, in the evenings. Where he would have them and like watch them here from five to eight on Wednesdays instead of taking them back to his uh, to his parents. That hasn't been happening. No, I'm over five minutes. You want five more minutes? Take your shoes off, please. Okay. Finish your food. Finish your food. No, I'm, I'm done. You're done. Okay. So yeah, last night I'm like I'm I can't do it. Adrian was upset at first. I'm like, he said, what are you even upset about? I said, but can you tell me one thing that you're upset about that you're going to miss out on with him not here? And she's, her thing was, I don't want a stepdad. I said, well, honey, you're not going to have a stepdad. I said, I was with your dad for over nine years and I never married him. I said, to her, she was upset because she doesn't want to have a stepdad. I'm not. One stinky sock. One stinky sock. It's like, I didn't make him leave again because, um. I'm interested in somebody else. Yeah. Just... Yeah. I made him leave because I can't handle yeah. another yeah. grown adult in the house yeah. who's a parent to these three yeah. and refusing to help with them or refusing to 
help out. And I'm like, can you help me pick up the living room? Well, I didn't make the mess. I'm like, well, I didn't either. The kid's dead. I'm like, can you just help me pick it up before bed? Or, you know, do you want to help me with the dishes? Well, I didn't dirty them. I'm just, I cannot, I can't do it. <laughs> okay. I made dinner and cooked for everyone. I can't get help with the dishes because you didn't dirty the dishes. I just can't. I can't. Between that, between the issue with his oldest daughter that's never going to change because he won't make it change. What is the po what is the point? Don't you date people like in hopes of marrying them one day and spending your life with them? Like if that's not what, especially it'll be like 10 years in uh, in April, April 8th. We got, we got together 10 years ago, April 8th. Like, if we know things aren't going to work for whatever reasons, what is the point in wasting more time? Especially if it, if it was good energy, it'd be different. It's like someone to have fun with, but it's not. So, yeah. I woke up great. The kids went to bed happy. Oh, the mail? Okay, I'll get it. Set it down. Thank you for bringing my mail. Kids went to bed happy and smiling. They woke up happy and laughing. We laughed the whole way to school. Like, I woke up feeling like just calm and peace and just. I told myself, as soon as you walk in the door, there's instantly just tension and just negative vibes. And I can't, I can't do it. I don't even want to try. I thought I did, but I thought I wanted to try, like, try and work on things, and but it's I don't have a desire anymore. I was doing great on my diet. You guys know. You watch my videos. My house had been, I was keeping up with keeping my house clean. I was doing good on my keto. I was losing weight. His still coming out a whole lot. And everything's went to crap. Adrian's mouth has been worse than, than ever. The house is a disaster. Clear them off my diet. It's just too much stress and tension in that situation. What, buddy? Those hot dogs were good. My kids eat pickles like this. Like corn on the cotton. So funny. I just took a picture because it's so funny. It's hard being with someone that deals with depression. Like nothing against them, but it's not my job. I'm not, it's not my job to try and keep somebody up all the time and to try and motivate them to do something other than lay around. I can't do it. Especially when I have my hands full of three kids. I'm trying to work on myself, work on my dreams, my goals, my health. I can't just constantly be brought down. Or somebody who wouldn't put in any effort to try and feel better. I know a lot of people that suffer from depression. They take their medication. 
They try to eat better. They stay active. Whether they're tired or want to or not, they just do it because they know it's what they need to do. And you know what? It's like a circle. Once they get up and start doing stuff, they start feeling better. And it makes them want to be up more and doing stuff more. Like, I can't. Because then when I'm like, hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And I go for a walk. And like, and then I'm just, I'm a nag and I'm on his ass. And it's like the same old thing that I've done for nine years. And I'm not going back to that. Like, hey, why don't you play some music? Why don't you start a YouTube channel playing your guitar? Like, people love to watch people play guitar. I've seen a lot of channels, and he's really good at it. I love watching him play guitar. I can't get him to pick up his guitar. <laughs> the kids love it. If he plays guitar, <clears throat> the kids will get theirs and play theirs. Like their dad's going through, getting rid of Allie's old clothes are too small, Jax's clothes are too small. Taking the tags off and washing all their new stuff because I just bought Jax in a whole new wardrobe because he needed it because he has no clothes that fit. They want to go outside. I said, Wager, you can't go outside because that's not fair to the other two. She said, Well, Allie can come. I said, Well, then Jax is going to stay in the window and cry. I'm like, You know, Jay, can you take him outside and play them? I'm like, You're sitting here watching TV or, you know, sitting there on your phone. I'm like, I'm being productive. I'm trying to get through their laundry. I have a lot of laundry to go through, cut the tags off. Wash them, go through all of Jax's dresser drawers, Allie's dresser drawers, closets. We know I don't want to go outside. It's like, you can sit on your butt outside and let them play. And you can still be on your phone outside. Like, nope. So the kids didn't get to go outside. Like, I can't constantly put off housework for them to do their fun stuff. I have, there's certain things I have to get done. That's part of being somebody's significant other and partner. You help them out. You don't make things harder. You help them out with having a happy family and that's I don't think something he'll ever be able to do I just I don't think he has it in him some people I know a lot of people that are single because they're just too selfish they don't have any time or effort to give to others because they only care about themselves and I put my, all my stuff last because I've always taken care of others and it's like one thing to take care of my kids but I can't take care of another grown adult and I can't do it you know what I'm saying yeah, my hot dogs were good. I know so many people are like, oh, are you guys back together? It's like, no, we are trying. We're kind of dating. I actually changed my Facebook status back to single yesterday. Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to, there's nothing to try for. If nothing's ever going to change, there's no point in trying. Why waste time putting an effort into a relationship that's never going to go anywhere because of their lack of parenting and making effort and because they won't control their oldest child. <laughs> Not control them, but you know what I mean? It's like, hey, either you have respect and have manners or you're not going to be a part of my life. Not, okay, say and do whatever you want to this person and to my other kids and I act like it never happened. As I said, I'm like, you're just teaching Adrian. Like, she sees all this crap that your oldest one does and you have like nothing ever happened. But let Adrian do the slightest thing and it's the end of the freaking world. Like, that's not fair. That's not fair. <clears throat> So yeah. Oh my gosh, they have a little crocodile out. They keep putting it and they put it in the closet where it has no room to move, so it constantly bangs on the closet door. I've laughed more let's see what time it is. Twelve thirty. He left yesterday, what, like seven? Six? I don't know. I've laughed more since then than I have like in the past few weeks. Like I don't know. Like, I just, I've been smiling pretty much all day just because I, I don't know, I feel like I just lost 250 pounds. <laughs> and I, technically I did because I don't have that weight of another person on my shoulders for me to take care of and hold their hand through every little thing. Like, sometimes you gotta put your big boy pants on and make yourself do things. If people don't want to go to work, they get up and do it because they have to. It's their duty as an adult. But anytime I bring it up, I'm like, okay, you have to make yourself do these things. I can't just be on you all the time. And it's like, oh, and you're, you're perfect. You do nothing wrong. It's like, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, you can't physically ask me to do anything more for these kids in this household than I do. Because I literally do, every, you name it, I do it. Like, nobody else does it. And it's pretty sad that my only break, break, 
I mean, we went. My only break is if he gets the kids. We went to court. We went through the drawn out process of of going to child support. He wanted them every other weekend and on Wednesdays. <laughs> you guys know how that's went. He was laid off for two weeks and he didn't file or something, so I didn't get child support. This is what March twenty. Today's March 29th. I've gotten one child support payment this whole month. And it was for what? 40 some dollars? And it was on the 3rd, March 3rd. Yeah. Just kind of over everything. He did give me some of the stimulus money though. Like, because he got. Hi, what, buddy? Because he got. Um, the last time he did taxes, he had claimed me on taxes because he hasn't filed this year yet. So. For 2019, he lived here until the end of October. So we lived together for over six months. So he claimed on his taxes. So on this last stimulus check, he got $1,400 from me. So he gave me that whole $1,400. And then he gave me half of what he, well, almost half. It was supposed to be half of what he got for the kids. But I don't know. For some reason, he won't go the full amount. He said he'd give it to me later. But he keeps putting off him. So I'm probably not going to get that. It's like, so here it is, that whole situation. The money's to go towards the kids. So that's how I got them. I've gotten Jackson some things for his birthday. I got Adri the few things she needed. She needed some socks and she needed some little sports bra things and she needed some pants. And then Allie needed socks and like a few pair of leggings. And Jack, like I said, Jackson needed a whole wardrobe. And I got him each a beach towel. And then. Oh, and I got them stuff for Easter. Like, what else am I supposed to do? So, yeah. I'm just over. Like, we were even at Cole's and he was with him. Like, do you want to pay here? I'm like, you haven't bought the kids a single thing. Like, I've been buying. And he's like, no. He's like, I'm not. He's like, you know me. I'm a tightwad. It's like, okay. So I paid. Like, <laughs> which that's fine. That's what it's for. The stimulus check is to help keep the economy going and to, you know, to help take care of your kids, which is what I used it for. I did buy myself a few things. It's like, okay, I deserve a little treat too. Like, I bust my butt here. But it's just. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand people. I wanted to, my plan was like to save a bunch of like, between Jackson needing socks, pants, shorts, like, cause I got him stuff like to last the whole summer, like tank top shirts, regular shirts, a couple pair of pants and long sleeve shirts for now, because like today it's in the twenties, it's still cold. So I got him size 18 months and size 24 months. Like I said, jammies, pants, shorts, shirts. <coughs> he needed pretty much everything. They're crazy. Like I said, I got their Easter stuff. So I'm pretty content. I ordered, like I said, I ordered myself some things here and there. And I did use, I used my, um, I had gift cards. I still have my Sephora gift card, but they're having to, I get 20% off like starting April 9th. So I had to finish Jax's birthday still, but I used like, I had a Bath and Body Works gift card from Christmas, um, Ulta, Victoria's Secret. So I used those. Um, Anyways, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I need to go get them in bed and my and my thing's about to shut off. So, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. Sorry the end of this got kind of like Debbie Downer. I'm just venting. Like, a lot of you that go to work, okay, on your lunch break, you send, like, you kind of vent to your coworkers about, oh my gosh, this is what happened today or this is what happened last night. I don't have that. So I vent to you guys. I'm not even really venting. I'm just saying what went on and what I'm not putting up with anymore. I'm just stating what's going on. That's not complaining, it's just telling how it's going and <laughs> what's been going on and what I'm dealing with. But it's 12.43, I need to get them in bed. And I need to clean up, I saw the hot dogs out, the cheese, the buns, I need to get all this stuff put away. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to all those that are pulling for us to work things out, but I just, like I've said in videos before, I just don't think it's gonna happen because I can't, I'm not magic. I can't wave a magic wand. I can't make somebody want to do family things when they don't want to. I can't make somebody want to be a part of a family if they don't want to. You know what I mean? There's only so much I can do. And once you push or try to motivate for so long, you're being pushy in all kinds of names. And I'm done with that too. So yeah. Uh, I do have some hauls coming up. They might be before this. They might be after. I don't know. I actually need to film a collective haul and an Ikea haul, like, and a Dollar Tree haul, like, right when I get them to bed. So, yeah, you'll probably see a couple videos of me looking like this and in this Top Gun shirt, but it's okay. It is what it is. I saw I got through my clothes. I still need to help Adri get her clothes put away. Like, I've got Allie's room done. Jax's clothes are all organized and put away. 
and like his drawers are organized by size because some of his size 12 months stuff looks kind of big like it's still going to fit so i'm going to try them if they don't fit then i'll get rid of them but i have a huge tote of nine months clothes a huge tote of 12 months clothes i found some three to six months some six to nine that were still in his drawers because they look bigger they look like the size 18 months so all right let me look at these little monsters changing in bed I will see you in my next video. I know you guys can relate because I've had so many of you when I talk about our relationship. I've had so many that can relate and have been there and just you are you got fed up with putting up with it and you gave up on it. And some of you have let go and then ended up working things about, out and getting back together. Um, I don't know what the future holds, but as of right now, I'm just, I don't have it in me to try. There's, I need to focus back on myself. I was doing so good on myself. I was doing so good. You guys can probably tell my videos from the last couple weeks, like my lack of videos and my eating videos. I'm just, I'm tired, I'm miserable, I'm sad because, and that's why. So I need to get back to myself. <sighs> oh, it sucks when you're just so sensitive and like such a big heart, just want to help people, don't want to give up on people because it bites you in the butt every time. All right, I'm going to go and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.